There's a pretty simple reason why you should not livestream using the Blue Snowball Ice without first watching this video. It's basically because microphones never sound as good as they could without editing, and in this video I'm going to show you a program that basically edits your audio for you in real time, perfect for live streaming. If you remember a little while ago I actually made a video about editing Snowball after the fact, after you recorded it, and in the comments a bunch of people asked for a version about how to make your Snowball sound better for live streaming, and that's what we're talking about about today, I got an incredible tutorial for you guys that's going to work for basically any live streaming service, including YouTube Live, Twitch, Skype, and without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Alrighty. So that was a good little quick little intro or overview as to what we're going to be doing, and that was completely scripted, but the rest of this is going to be natural and organic and unscripted because I just feel like I should be a little bit more organic. Um, or more like a person instead of a person reading off a script in my videos. So the two programs you're gonna to need to accomplish this is voice meter and virtual audio cable. So voice meter is like the editing engine. This is where the snowball audio comes into, gets processed, and then virtual audio cable is what it comes out of basically. So like I said, voice meter takes in the audio, it processes it, processes it, and then virtual audio cable acts as, like it sounds, a virtual audio device or a virtual input, and that's what you're gonna select in your streaming service later on to act as the input, and that's what the edited audio comes out of. Hopefully that makes sense. All you need to know right now is you need both of those programs linked down below. They have super simple and easy installations. And actually when I installed Virtual Audio Cable, it automatically installed Voice Meter with it. They're both made by the same company, so I don't know if that was coincidence. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. But I installed Virtual Audio Cable and Voice Meter was just there. So that might happen for you, but either way, make sure both of them are downloaded from the description below. And let's just jump into some edits. Or jump into how to edit. So go ahead and open voice meter. I already have it on here. I didn't think it was worth like going through the installation for you guys because it's really simple. Uh, so I already have it on here and it's actually recording right now. It's taking in the audio from the snowball right now. Um, yours is not going to look like mine does right now. Well, let me just turn on my screen recorder real quick so you can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, yours isn't going to look like this. I have it set up so the snowball is coming in and it's actually recording the audio right now. Yours is not going to look like mine does with the levels and everything, but let's fix that. So basically just plug in your snowball, make sure your snowball is plugged in. And then in the very left section, hardware input, we're going to click and make sure the snowball is selected. Now nope, mine's already selected. I already got that set up, but you got to make sure that the snowball is the first hardware input. And the second one, as you might have guessed, we don't need because we're just editing one microphone. I guess you could edit two if you wanted, but we're just editing one snowball at this point. Virtual input, I have no idea what the heck that is, why that exists, we're gonna skip that. And then hardware out is the cable, the virtual audio cable. It's gonna say cable input, VB audio virtual cable. That's what you wanna have selected. And after you have those selected, you really have the complicated part of the process done because you have it set up so the snowball audio is coming into voice meter it's getting sent through voice meter and then it's coming out through the virtual audio cable now we just got to make sure that voice meter is actually doing something to your audio instead of just passing it through so let's set up that real-time audio edit so we're going to do this through three different settings in the very left section under hardware input they are audibility color panel and the fader gain so audibility and fader gain are really just tweaking the volume of your sound. Fader gain, bring it up if you want your audio to be louder. I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna ruin the quality or you can bring it down. But this is just really useful for like if you're streaming and people can't hear you or they say your volume's too low, then edit the gain so it's higher. Uh, pretty self-explanatory there. And then audibility is kind of like a noise gate where if I stop talking for a second right now, you can hear background noise, you can hear static, or at least a little bit of it, um, but using audibility, it's gonna detect when the audio volume falls below a certain point, and that's just gonna cut it out completely. It's gonna be completely silent when you're not talking. And then, as you can see, there is like a dial here, and that's basically the strength of the effect, or how much of the effect is applied, if that makes sense. So if we turn it all the way to 10, Obviously there's a middle ground, I can put it to 3.5 and that's a better better place to be. That's what I found to be like optimal. So if you're like streaming then 
I'm just I'm pausing to give you give you the effect so you know what it's doing. I'm not I'm not freezing up like a mannequin actually, but I find that to be a pretty good setting if you're streaming and you want all the audio to be removed when you're not talking, but it's up to you. It's totally up to you and I'm just going to turn it off because I'm planning on post-processing and speaking of post-processing, all the audio you're listening to right now sounds good because I post-processed. After I turn off this camera and grab the video file and the audio file, I'm gonna take that audio into Audacity and edit it. So that's why everything sounds good right now. It's not because the snowball is sounding this good just plugged in by itself. It's because I'm post-processing and like I said, I did the tutorial on that up there. So if you wanna learn how to do it like I do, then definitely check that out. But this is about real-time edits, so I'm gonna turn off the post-processing. It's just gonna be just the Snowball Raw, so we can talk about the real-time edits effectively because we need to see the difference, right? So post-processing off. And now we're gonna jump into the color panel, which is where the magic happens. And I just turned on my screen recorder so y'all can see what I'm doing because that's important. So. As you can see here, this little dot here, when I just move it around, all around this color panel, you can see the sound of my voice is changing and it's changing in different ways. Apparently, the axes represent different, the different elements of the audio. It says echo and brightness. I really don't know how that works. I just learned by trial and error and I learned that if you just put the dot a little bit to the left and a little bit below the middle of the crosshairs, then I find that to be where the audio sounds the best. So if I was live streaming right now, I would be without any post-processing, without any effort, automatically this is what my audio would be sounding like. And I think it sounds a lot better than if I was just talking like this, which is what the microphone sounds like without any editing whatsoever. So that's what you got right now as well if you've been following along with this tutorial and really past this point all you have to do to implement these settings or implement these changes into your live streaming is just change the audio input from your snowball to that virtual audio device that we set up just make sure it's set to take the audio or grab the audio from the virtual audio cable instead of your snowball because remember your snowball is still unedited audio that's just the input so make sure that the streaming service is grabbing from the virtual audio cable not from the snowball which is still unedited so that's basically it hopefully this helped drop me a like down below if you found this tutorial useful and also make sure to subscribe because i do have a lot more dope content already on my channel channel and coming soon. That's it. I'm out of here. See ya.